Hi guys, Mark at Visatui. Down here in our beautiful gold room surrounded by our library wine. So some amazing older vintages that we store here and of course that are available for you all to experience. And every time of the year is a perfect time for older vintage caps. And what I've selected for you today is a 2010 Mount Veter. So in my humble opinion, really in the prime of its life. But this led me to not just want to recommend wines from our library, but also, you know, made me think perhaps not a lot of people really know how to properly open or how to really enjoy these wines to their fullest. So it all starts with a special tool that you will need. And this is called an Osso. For older vintage bottles, an Osso is very important as it's the most gentle way to extract the cork. And the only real issue with older vintage wines is that the corks can get quite delicate as they've had obviously some time sitting around down here in the library. So when you pull the Osso out of its sheath, there'll always be one blade that is longer than the other. And this longer blade I'm gonna use as the quote unquote knife to cut the foil. So simply as you would think, holding some pressure and going around that top ridge of the foil and you will eventually make your way through to a point to where you can then use it to pull the foil up and it will separate there. And now where the real kind of fun comes in, but start with the longer blade and simply, as you might imagine, down the side, one of the sides of the cork and the long side of the blade begins and just wiggle the osso back and forth gently and it will start to work its way downward until the second blade meets the other side of the cork. And as that goes in, now a side to side motion as you are pushing down and you'll notice the osso will begin to work its two blades along the side of the cork. Now, once the osso is all the way in, you're going to use an upward pulling motion, but also while turning the bottle. And the osso actually is gripping the cork on these two sides. And you can see as I'm slowly rotating and pulling upwards that this cork is coming out beautiful, intact, and totally clean. Now, the first reward that you're going to get is to see all of the sediment uh, in this wine. And a lot of people, when they see this, oh my gosh, there's mud in my wine, something's wrong. And then, trust me, if you don't see sediment in an aged bottle, something has gone wrong with the aging process. So this is essentially looking at a lot of the aggression that has fallen out of the wine. So a lot of clumping of tannin molecules going on and the tannins are that dry and the bitters, some of the astringencies in wines mellow with age and form these crystals. But you wanna look and make sure that not only you have a good sediment formation on your cork, but you wanna look for cork bleed. And that would be where you see a seeping of the color and you don't want to see it any more than about a third of the way through the cork. And from here, I think we all know the next steps, which is to simply to be able to enjoy this wine. And we do want to give this bottle some time and this would be about 30 minutes and you may use a decanter to speed that up, possibly 15 minutes to cut that in half. And that is going to soften the wine even more so and bloom the fruits out of the wine, make it so much more multi-layered and luscious. So as wines age, the, the tannins will not only mellow, but so will the acidities and some of the astringencies that mellow as well. So wines become much more multi-layered, plush, the fruits can sing uh, and you can pick up many different layers of the fruit that you might not have been able to detect when it was younger. Mm. One of my absolute favorite older vintage bottles from our library section. Come and check these out in our tower tasting at any time guys, or simply ask your wine tender if there's anything available from the library. Cheers.